So, you think you understand enough about faith for us to go back to the future, Marty? I hope so. I still don't know what I'm going to do about my kids, but I'll think of something. Well, hang on for 1985. Oh, what's going on, Doc? Oh, it's the flux capacitor. It, yeah, it's overheating. Uh, can't you do something to fix it? No, you, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally, Marty. It's an irresistible force that's pulling us backwards. Backwards? Do something, Doc. We've got to make it back to 1985. The strange gravitational pull that's bringing us back to 1968. Back in 1968. Well, what are we gonna do? Let's go over to that church and see if we can find some help. What is keeping you from living holy for God? You're filling your heart with entertainment and amusements, but it's a void only God can fill. Who do you expect to be about the Lord's work without spending time with the Lord? Uh, what's going on in here, Doc? This must be an old-fashioned holiness revival. The first Christians love every moment for Jesus who died for them, and they turned their world upside down. Their whole day was Jesus. Their whole schedule was Jesus. Their whole agenda was Jesus. You've got Jesus penciled in for a quick meeting before you go on with your real life. Are we in Scotland? According to my calculations, we're in Fresno, California. Satan is not coming with demons to assault you. He's taking you down on your sofa with your telly. He's entertaining you to death. Have you such wee faith? The Lord is coming back soon. Will he find you on your knees or in your recliner? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow, this is awesome. Marty, this is how church meetings used to be. Full of the power of the, the Holy Spirit. Well, what happened? What you need is the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Let's praise the Lord, everyone. Give him all the glory. Praise the Lord who wants to heal you. Young lady in that wheelchair, do you believe Jesus can heal you? Receive your healing and get out of that chair and praise the Lord. Did, Hallelujah! Did you see that? She got her on the wheelchair. Great Scott! Brother Johnson's son-in-law. <laughs> yourselves together. God has called you to be a servant in the house of God. Fascinating. What's going on, Doc? Marty, don't you see? These are the outpourings of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Young man, stand up. God has put his hand upon you. He separated you out to himself. You're going to preach this gospel throughout the world. Your life will touch millions and you'll do this for his glory. Oh my gosh, Doc! She's coming this way! Um, I'm sorry oh Lord, for all the times I've ever cheated on oh, any exam, at any time! Oh, I'm please never please the letter call me out in front of everyone! For some of you, God is dealing with you right now. Your life and those you love hang in the balance. God wants you to know if you submit fully to the plan I've got in your life, that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. Doc, do you think she's talking about me? Marty, after everything we've seen tonight, I'm sure of it. He in the back with the wild hair. Don't who, who, me. You're having transportation problems. God has supplied what you need and your prayers have been answered. Praise God! Marty, let's go check the DeLorean! Okay. Let's all praise the Lord. Oh. Build your rents in the name of Jesus. 